Hello there, it's me, Rama, and today I wanted to demonstrate custom UMG widgets that are maneuverable within the editor designer, the UMG editor designer. First, I wanted to demo the full robustness of what I'm about to show you how to do. Um, this is, requires C++ code. I'm in game, and I'm in the full blown standalone. This is actually the command line version of the game. The editor is completely closed. I don't have the editor open at all. See? It's just this runtime instance. Just, just in game. And watch this. Not that. This. Look! So, this might just look like, oh, look, pretty colors. Well, actually, what you're seeing is custom UMG rendering code. I'm actually using this sort of blended edge. You see how it kind of has this opacity along the edge? I actually uh, wrote the code for how to do this during the beta before there was UMG, did it in the HUD class, and now I've transferred it over to UMG. Um, so this is my sort of special trademark, uh, what I call soft edge rectangle. And this is a, I've made I've turned this into an editable, customizable UMG widget. So if you recall, this is my AI editor system. So I just created a unit, and I'm having him follow a patrol line. This is the old interface. You see that sort of plain background with the sharp edges. This is what I was trying to get away from. So I created this blended rectangle edge instead. Notice that these two different colors can also overlap because it's this blended edge. So I'm about to show you in the editor how this all works, but also notice again the very pleasant transparency effect. I just love this. This is sort of like my happy UI system. But I've now developed the code for how to do this in UMG, which I'm going to show you in the editor and what it looks like. Hello there, it's me Rama again, and now I'm showing you in the editor what my custom UMG widget looks like. This is a widget component that you can add using this palette. So you see here, Joy Soft Edge Rectangle or Soft Edge Image. This is uh, my own addition to your palette under Common. So you can, I'm showing you in this uh, wiki tutorial and in this video how it is that you can make your own widget components. So I can drag out a new one of these. I can resize it like normal. And I'm gonna actually, this one doesn't use a image. These ones actually do. They use a, I'm using an instanced material just because I like the way the opacity works just a little bit better. For some reason it works a little bit better than the default version. But this version uses the standard image code. You can set the color. Let's use pink. Alright, and uh, but the other cool feature, which I haven't shown you yet, is I have a custom property. This is the really cool part, which you can't really see in game. I have a custom property under soft edge, and this is the thickness. <laughs> I'm all excited. This is the thickness. Now, this thickness, this is a completely custom property that's part of my custom slate widget, and I can change it. Look! So that's like really, really thin. 12, 24, 30, 50. A hundred, two hundred. <laughs> so I can actually completely customize. And notice how it instantly updates. Making this thing instantly update is actually not that easy. What happens if we go up to 1000? I think it'll explode. Yeah, it kind of exploded. Didn't it? 500? No. 200? 300? <laughs> hey, 300. No. 200. It's already getting kind of wonky. Oh, that's about as much as we can do, right? So, I'm going to show you how this code actually works in a second, but it instantly updates. So, it's a completely customizable widget for your uh, UMG designer that is from the palette. So, I'm going to be showing you the code for how I did this. The code is actually not that bad. Um, it's surprisingly uncomplicated, except for one little feature. So, I'm actually going to jump into the code now and show you. And I, of course, can notice how it has this, this lovely, ah, this lovely opacity feature where it kind of blends in with everybody else. I just love that. Just, it's just how I like my UI to work. And now I'm showing you how you can take all your favorite UI features and get them to actually work. It does require C++ code. The hardest part was actually, uh, the actual render code, getting it to paint, uh, and actually work with, uh, render transforms. 
this uh, code I've written does work with render transform. So, if, so let's change the size here to 256 by 256. Then we're going to use render transform scaling to scale it to double, right? So that works. And I can still rotate it. Let's pivot it. Uh, angle, let's go with 30. So look, the render transform stuff works too. Translation relative to its current location, 50. All that works, which means this will work with animation too. So the render transform stuff completely works. And to get all that to work, in C++ is rather complicated. It's all this gobbledygook. On paint is where you do the custom render code. And uh, basically I have my thickness, which is that property you saw me editing. Then I adjust it here. And so a whole bunch of UMG paint code. Uh, in here, this um, to paint geometry using these local values. <laughs> I have this little message here. This code got fixed, so it all works. The render transform code works. Now, the one other interesting thing before I go is how did I get it to dynamically update in UMG? That's called synchronize properties. And you have to create your bind, optional bind for the thickness, right? And then in the .h file, you have to specify your uh, this thing. It was get float the delegate. Then once you do this part, that's when you can update the thickness during in the editor. So notice how I'm just like drawing one layer on top of another, right? That's how I get that opacity look. That's just the particular code for what I'm doing. That was too much. So that is what I did. I was all excited about it, as you can see. And there it is. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Have fun today.